Hello and welcome. My name is Al Hussein Al Shinnawi, and today we're going to talk about BCAA. BCAA is the abbreviation of branch chain amino acids. The three branch chain amino acids we know are L isoleucine, L leucine, and L valine. A few questions arise. Are these three branch chain amino acids equally important for athletes? Are they as important as the media is advertising? Should they be should the three branch chain amino acids be ingested concomitantly or should they be ingested in a separate way? The first one we're going to talk about is the isoleucine, L isoleucine. The function of L isoleucine is to increase the influx or flow of glucose into the muscle cell. So the quantity of glucose reaching the muscle cell is increased when we use isoleucine. Then the glucose is used as an energy source. What about L-valine? L-valine reduces the level of serotonin in the brain. Serotonin is responsible for fatigue and sluggishness. So if L-valine reduces serotonin, this means that the level of alertness increases. But it has actually one small drawback. L-valine has a catabolic product called 3-hydroxyisobutyrate. This product is a diabetogenic agent, which means it helps or facilitates that your body may suffer from diabetes. The type 2 diabetes due to insulin resistance caused by 3-hydroxyisobutyrate may be the result of ingesting valine, L-valine. What about L-leucine? L-leucine increases the influx of glucose to the muscle cell, but then glucose is converted to glycogen for energy storage. It also increases protein synthesis by activating the mTOR pathway, and it decreases muscle catabolism, prevents the breakdown of muscle mass. So, as a result, should these three branch chain amino acids be ingested at the same time? No. You can take L-isoleucine and L-valine pre-workout as the L-isoleucine increases the glucose influx into the muscle and the use of glucose as an energy source. Valine will reduce serotonin, which will reduce the amount of sluggishness and fatigue which are the last things we need during a workout as we need a huge and focused approach. L-leucine should be ingested as a post-workout uh, supplement either alone or in form of a whey protein shake but with a higher L-leucine content to optimize the recovery, increase the muscle uh, protein synthesis and to reduce catabolism. I hope you like today's scientific episode. Hope to see you soon. If you have any questions, send them either on our Facebook page or Instagram account or Twitter Egyptian fitness page. Hope to see you soon.